Hello horror fans, and welcome back to Dead by Daylight. In this episode, I'm going to do the daily ritual, Worship by Sacrifice, where I have to complete two sacrifices with the plague. For this, I'm going to use the plague, and also be working on the gruesome killer challenge where I have to hook 20 survivors. So I have 13 more still to go on this. So for the plague, I'm going to use Dying Light, which gives a penalty to repair healing and sabotage speeds for each token I get, and I get a token by hooking somebody other than the obsession. I'm going to use Hex Ruin, which will slow generator progression by making generators regress when people get off of them. I'm going to use Infectious Fright, so that way I can see where people are when I've knocked somebody down. And I'm going to use Spies from the Shadows, so that way when they disturb a bird, I'll get a notification. Additionally, since I want to get this daily ritual done probably in one game here, I'm going to go ahead and use Black Incense, which is a really strong add-on for the plague, where I see the survivor's auras for five seconds when they vomit. Additionally, I'm going to attach Vial of Medic, which considerably increases the Vial Purge effectiveness, making them get sick faster. And then I'm going to put on a Devout Raven Wreath, so that way I get more blood points in the Deviousness category. So with all of that in mind, let's jump into a game. Alright, the Blood Lodge. So, this could get interesting, but we'll see. There are an enormous amount of pallets on this map, so can always be a problem. Not exactly sure where my totem is. I think it's well over there. Alright, we have her broken. Oh! That was a bit of a hasty swing on my part. She's going to run away from the pallet she just dropped, which is fine by me. Is she going to drop another pallet here? Yes, she is. And with her being broken the way she is, I can see wherever she goes, so I'm not too worried about losing her. There we go. First person down. Start to get these hooks for the killer challenge. All right, they got one generator done. Good for them. And since she is not the uh, obsession, that will start to slow their progress as well. All right. She isn't fully broken yet, now she is. Which let me see where she was running here, and it makes this chase so much easier. Oh! All right, first person decided to cleanse there. So that is something I will need to keep in mind. All right, she either had lithe or balanced landing. And there we go. We got her down. I'll go ahead and get this vile purge right here. So close. All right, we got her down. All right, just missed her. Uh, 
Drop the pallet. No? You actually will make this again. All right. All right, I need to get somebody down here. This is not going so well for me. This is just such a hard map for a killer that can't do anything about pallets, really. That wasn't going to work, though. Seen that one a few times. All right. So I can see that somebody is sick over there. I'm going to grab this uh, purge here. Come on. There we go. All right. Gonna put her into the basement and then see about getting the other person in the basement too, possibly. the person has crawled off to, so sort of hard to get them. I'm going to go ahead and get this purge, though, while I'm here. Then we'll go patrol these generators. All right. Well, we got this person down. Put them on this hook right here. Gonna chase after this person here because I can see where they are. Oh. 
How did that not? All right, it did hit her. I just didn't hear her. I was like, how did that not hit her? Yep, knew that was gonna happen. This is the problem with this map, is there are so many pallets everywhere. Yep. Alright, well at least I did get one. Not the result I wanted, but it was what I was able to get. See what I can do here. My totem's off in a corner, so I think that actually could be a good thing for me. Thought I saw somebody up there. Yes, I did. Was not able to get them infected though, right there, which is a unfortunate thing. Okay, we're gonna run around this. And I was able to get her infected. Which realistically is all I cared about there. So, she's infected, I'm moving on. Okay, no one is working on any of those generators. They did the generator on the boat. Where's everybody else, though? I'd expect to see more progress on generators at this point. I really don't know where they are. Alright, well we know where the one person is. And I guess I will go after her. Alright, she used dead heart. And I was able to find her easily with the black incense. There was a Meg around here as well, but she ran off. That's fine. Whoever comes to rescue here will get infected. Got a little fat shamed there. That's all right.
Okay, they rescued quite quickly. And there's somebody over here. For some reason, I think her long her lunge is longer than it actually is most of the time. I don't know why. But all right, got our second person down here. Really, compared to the last game, this seems like a fairly chill game. I mean, they are working on generators and such, but they aren't cleansing all the time. They're just sort of doing their thing. That was a mistake there. Because the other one's my obsession. I don't want to hit her as much. Somebody did decide to clean. It was the obsession. Alright, they are cleansing now, which is not great news. Thought she would throw that down. Oh. All right, have her down. This generator is still regressing. Oh, almost hit you there, Meg. All right. You're down. And we'll put you right over here. The fat shaming on that one is really ridiculous. We have her broken now. She's down. There's not really a great hook around, so I'm gonna have to go to this one. We did kill one, so that's a good thing. down. Gonna hit this, uh, this generator here real fast. Don't know what was with the slur in my words there. Uh, that was a bit interesting. All 
Alright, I can hear somebody nearby. Alright, if you want me to go after you, I have no problem with that. You will make that window. I already broke the pallet over here, so that's not a problem. Alright. Down you go again. We can see that the person's back on their generator right there. That's fine. They might get it done or they might not. They did not get it done. All right. Kind of put him up onto this hook over here. Then I'll go hit that generator again. As I said, this has been a much more chill match. Very straightforward. stun off. Good job. Now I'm coming to kill you. Alright. Hey, guess what I got, Meg? Nice avoiding. The problem is, I can still hit you. So, it doesn't change much. Alright, we'll put you on that hook. I assume that the other Meg is going to go rescue. Yep. Alright, there we go. All right, so we can see where that Meg is. She decided to cleanse. And you're sick again already, Meg. All right. Wasn't able to get her there. Alright, the other person has broken. And now so has she. Alright, Infectious Fright shows me where she is. Alright. Oh, we were able to wrap that up. Now let's see if she struggles. Okay, let's go find the hatch. Don't struggle. 
Okay, if you're going to struggle, then I'm going to put you on this hook over here. I was going to give you the hatch. I don't know where it is, but I was going to give it to you. Okay. Well, that should take care of both my daily ritual as well as my uh, killer challenge. So I'm happy with that. I'll get some more of these devotions along the way here. Get those extra points. All right. And we did complete both the killer challenge and the daily ritual. And with that, I've completed the challenge of gruesome. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you've enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all in the fog.